All right, we are live. Hey guys, what's up? Um, Legendary Armory, let's check it out. Um, for the people uh, that are tuning in later in the stream, make sure to check out the timestamps in the video description because they will be uh, will be there after the stream. And for you guys uh, who, who are already waiting, welcome. What's up? So I want to start off with this guardian over here. I know she has only one legendary weapon. So that weapon will be added to the legendary armory. And we will have a look at her. Uh, we will have a look at the legendary armory when there is just one weapon inside. And then we will hop over to my elementalist, which has, I don't know, like 10 legendary items. Uh, yeah, exactly 10. So, um, and then we'll see how that fills up nicely. And then we can try and switch that on uh, that legendary armor on my uh, necro. So let's look at login in on this uh, guardian over here. And while we're at it, uh, Twisted Marionette, the, the the community favorite from back in 2013, 2014, I believe. I, I'm, I'm sure. I, I'm sure I did it as well. Um, I think it was season one. Yeah, it was season one for sure. And that also made its return. I completely passed over that. I did know, but it's also back. You can get there through Eye of the North, which is also not only for Path of Fire. Uh, uh, not exclusive for the Path of Fire expansion. So even if you only have the, 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 the Heart of Thorns expansion, you can go here. And I believe, even if you don't have an expansion at all, I think you can even go here as well. So this this is going to get a little bit more crowded with free-to-play players, I guess. Um, that doesn't... The patch notes do not really state that, but um, I believe that's the case. Hey, Doggo Chills. We got Doggo Chills here and we got Marius. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome. So I only had uh, the time to briefly skim over um, the patch notes just yet, so I don't quite know what's um, uh, I don't quite know all the patch notes just yet. But the most important ones is legendary armory and twist marionette, and also uh, some explanation about it. So here we are. Congratulations, legendary equipment unlocked. Uh, bound legendary items on this character and account bank were automatically converted to unlocks in the legendary armory. Okay, so you can now enjoy them across all characters of your account. And this character is using uh, Sunrise, which is the greatsword. So let's check that out real quick. So let's uh, show PvE equipment. Alright. So... There is no really, there's not really a separate tab. We saw that in the in the screenshot as well from uh, the devs, the ArenaNet devs. I, as you can see, I just logged in. I, I, this is the first moment I can sit behind my uh, computer that's not work related. So as you can see here, we have Sunrise. There is no separate tab. It's just above your uh, equipment templates. Uh, it says zero out of one. So there is uh, zero available and only one unlocked. The reason why you've uh, where, why there is zero available is because I'm already using it in this on this character, and this avoids if you, for example, have made bolt the legendary sword. Um, if you want to use that in both hands, if you are a, a warrior, for example, then you have to craft two bolts. You can craft one bolt and transmute the other one, but you can't have two legendary items in the same hand. So you have to create two of those. As you can see, I can only create one more sunrise uh, on this uh, character. What that would make no sense because why would I create two? Um, what's it called? Legendary great swords. So this is my equipment template. Now it says one out of one. Uh, that's because I'm not using it on this one. This one's not a legendary. This is a transmuted one. Uh, let's see. Uh, we have any more people in the chat? Ten. Gods, damn! I'm still working on my lowly buy for us. Yeah. Um, I know, it took me quite a while uh, to get those uh, 10 legendaries. Uh, it's mostly legendary armor, so um, uh, there is that. So as, as we can see, we have one uh, sunrise right here. We also have two males. Let's check those out real quick. So that's also very important. Uh, Cracking the Ice um, is back. That's uh, Living World Season 3, I believe. Oh, God. I think so. And this is where you can farm the, the winter berries. Um, winter berries, you can exchange those for uh, crafting materials as well. I made a video about it like uh, four years ago with no voice and no mounts because there were no mounts back then. Um, so yeah, you can play that one for free, so make sure to log in. 
And the other one is the Twisted Marionette. And this one gives you a single use portal to scroll to Eye of the North. So, okay. Let's take that one. We don't really need it. I know, I'm not really sure when the Twisted Marionette is up. I'm not sure if we can check it out right now. I'm planning to do a short stream right now. Just legendary armor for a bit. I'm uh, extremely tired, so... <laughs> Let's, uh, let's have a look at it. Don't worry about it. Still working on videos. So we got this one unlocked. Um, let me see. Memory of Sunrise can be used in the Midget Mystic Force. In place of Sunrise to add the Greatsword Eternity to your Legendary Armory. Okay. So this is... Um, this is very important when you are planning to craft Eternity. Um, just really brief. So you have Twilight and Sunrise. Both are Legendary Greatswords. And you can combine those together in the Mystic Forge um, for Eternity. And Eternity is like a mix of Twilight and Sunrise together. And since you put your weapons in the Legendary Armory, you can also use this one instead. to um, This token, so to say, to replace it in the Mystic Forge. So you can still craft... Um, what's it called? Uh, Eternity. And I think you can even... Ooh, gotta be careful here, but maybe you can even salvage your legendary. Wouldn't do that. Not quite sure. Um, I also unlocked this one, the Dragon Skill Cape video coming about that real soon. So let's hop onto my Elementalist, where most of my legendaries are. Um, this one is also using legendary armor, but it's transmuted, so it's not the real uh, legendary armor. So let's hop on this one. And this one is still in Lion's Arch. I love this. I have two sets of armor and weapons. Um, oh, really? Like, you have uh, a light set and a heavy set? Or do you have two light sets? Because I believe um, most of you, or maybe some of you, might know uh, the Roar, the, the streamer, the Royer, the Roar. Um, he crafted multiple legendary armor sets for his light professions. So he could have legendary armor on each and every class or each and every profession that he has, which is super sick but with the legendary armory it would make sense because you have two obsolete sets because um you only have to craft it once now you put it in the legendary armory and then you can use it on all your char characters which we are going to do after we log in on my alley so uh, let's have a look lion's arch hey crew what's up hey hey <laughs> okay as you can see uh same message more legendary armor. I think it's even unique music that I'm hearing. That's pretty cool. So, boom. Here we go. This is more legendary armor. So, we got um, all my legendary armor, my light ones. Uh, I got that in here. I also got uh, Xicotl. I hope I pronounced that right. That's the scepter, uh, which I own. Uh, with the little dragon, as you can... Uh, as you can see right here, this one. Yeah, this one. You summon this guy here. So you summon that one when uh, you go into combat. And also I got Nevermore uh, on this profession. Uh, let me see. Where is that? That should be here as well, I believe. Equip from Armory. Copy Nevermore to tap 2. Let's see what does this. Uh, I guess. Place the item. Yes. So it goes over here. Ah, look at that. So as you can, <laughs> as you can see right here, uh, this is my uh, normal set that you uh, are quite familiar with. Uh, this is all transmuted, of course. I got the dragon skill cape. This is a new look. <laughs> so um, and also have uh, this one. This is um, what's it called? Ad infinitum, the legendary backpack. So I also got that one. And that's, I can believe, I can use it on every character I have right now. So, free legendary backpacks everywhere. Um, and if I go to here, to this one, you see that uh, it's all not transmuted anymore. Um, I look like a complete other character right now. This also looks pretty cool in my opinion. So, um, there we have, we have that stored. As you can see, i um, not quite sure how this works with uh, infusions again. Not really sure if I can reuse these. Uh, let's let's just give that a try with a, a seven one. Let's put it on this one. So this one has plus seven. 
and I still have 150 agony resistance. So what you can do right here is uh, it automatically unequips all infusions. Um, um, yeah, it automatically all um, um, unequips them and then you can reuse them on your second set. So you can basically have, let's say for example, I want to go, um, which I really want to go actually. Um, let's say I want to be on healing alley. No, I don't need grieving. What's the stats again for healing? I thought it was griefers, but it's not. It would actually not make sense. Givers? Is it givers? Not really. Harriers, that's it. That's the one I need. So, I choose this one. Oh, wait a second. I used to be able to... Yeah, there we go. I have to uh, check this one. So it applies to all my equipped armor. And there we go. We have healing gear with also legendary healing gear. <laughs> legendary healing gear with agony infusion. So if I want to do fractals on this character, I can um, uh, I can be a power DPS in fractals, for example. Right? There we go. It's not really power damage, but uh, all, all this kind of stuff, I'm doing that. And then... Um, they kind of need a healer, so I'm like, hey, I can help out with that. I just click this tab, and I can equip, uh, where's my thing? This one right over here. I have a scepter. Customize that one. Let's also give the Harrier stats. There you go. And now I'm basically, oh, not misclicking. I'm basically full healer, minus the runes, of course. You you actually have to get some other runes for this one. Uh, because this one has, uh, what's it called? Um, scholar runes, which is power DPS. So actually, you have to get Rune of the Monk, for example. Um, but as you can see, I can really easily um, switch to a healer profession. And as, as I've said in my uh, last video on uh, how to prepare on uh, End of Dragons, for End of Dragons. Uh, this could actually be really useful if you're... Uh, in need of a healer, as you can see right here. So let's uh, catch up with, this, with the chat. Uh, where's all the flavor text? What do you mean? Flavor text. I need to go on all my heavy characters and equip their armor. Yeah. Well, if that's the only thing you have to do, it's good armor. So uh, make sure to have. You have to make more infusions. Um, yeah. What's the jazz with that? I I, I know it's. Uh, I heard some more people using more than uh, the the 150 uh, agony resistance. So. Um, let me know. I ha I actually haven't done active fractals in a while, so um, mostly doing raids. Uh, like a power ranger when in combat mode with leg, leg armor with all the animations. It's pretty. Oh, cool. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So this actually makes me want to craft another legendary set for my heavy armor. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's uh, not really uh, do that because this one took quite a while. It took quite some money. This is not... This is also not something you want to rush. Like, if you want legendary armor before End of Dragons, start this week, for example. Don't want to say start today. I hate, I hate to say start today. Um, so start this week somewhere when you have time and just gradually work your way up. Start crafting the little pieces first or the big ones. Don't do it all uh, at once if you uh, don't want to. Uh, I did it all at once. But I all uh, I had like 90% of the ingredients, uh, I mean materials, and I only had to get the hard parts. So uh, there is that. So we have that on these on this character. So we can easily switch around uh, from power to healing. And now we want to go to our other characters. Let's say uh, our necro, for example. So this one. So if I'm correct, I should be able to use. Power legendary armor on this one, or oh, not power legendary, just legendary armor uh, in general on this character, and I also should be able to use sunrise, so I can make a full power re uh, reaper in just a few clicks. That would be uh, pretty sick. The flavor text only seems to pop. Yeah, when you re acquire a new legendary. So as you can see, right now um, I don't get the flavor text because this one doesn't have legendaries. Um, as I've said before, uh, these ones, they are legendary skins. So if I use a skill, there you go. Um, but they're transmuted, so uh, there's that. So, as you can see, it says one out of one. And this means I can use one set of um, the equipment. There you go. Oh, 
was new there for a second. Um, I can use these on a character. So let's see. Let's do this one, right? So we'll equip this one. So as you can see, it unequipped the... Uh, let me see, where is it now? So it unequipped the... Um, uh, the Ascended piece. And now I have... Um, the legendary piece on so let's continue doing that for all of this and lost let's also exchange nevermore it uh, let me see i still this one's also ascended <laughs> it has no <laughs> infusion don't don't tell anyone and um i can also change this one so that's legendary and i also can change this one so it's a little bit confusing because I'm using legendary um, skins on ascended weapons. So as you can see right here, uh, where is it? This one. It shows that it's purple, but at the bottom you can see crafted in the style of the forgotten, which means it's uh, ascended uh, armor actually. So this one's full. Uh, uh, what's it called? Full legendary now, except for the warhorn that is. And this was a Condi build, so I believe, what, what did I use again? Uh, I kind of forgot how this stat was named. Oh my god, I've been playing this game for nine years, no, ten? When did, or tw 2012, right? Getting old here. So, um, let me see. So let's customize this one. Good hunting. It's Vipers, of course, Jesus Christ. I keep by forgetting these. It's like the, I only use two or three stats really on my whole account, right? I'm not really using Celestials or anything, and I keep forgetting the names. I only know Berserker. Berserker, Berserker. So we check this one right over here. Click accept. And there you go. This is all Viper stats now. It is, even does a little bit more damage. So as you can see, the, the difference is not. No, is it? Oh, there's no damage. No, there's no change. Never mind. Forgot about it. Thought it was a little increase, but uh, I'm completely wrong here. So the only problem I have right now is because... So I can change. It It, it, it looks... This isn't my real style, to be honest. So um, I have to transmute this. So my only real problem right now is that I have to... I crafted these armor sets way... Like ages, ages ago. And now I'm like, all right, what can I do with it? I need the runes. Or I can just put them on uh, my storage and give it to an alt. Which I will probably do on one or two of my characters. But um, I think in most cases I'm just going to get salvage this. And use a rune on this one. So uh, so to say. So this one's Vipers now, right? So um, what if I want to be, let's say, a Reaper. A Power Reaper, which is also pretty good. So I need to use that, and a Reaper can also use a Greatsword, right? So let's have a look. Uh, I don't think it shows up. Oh, it does show up, but can I? I actually can. Yeah, there you go. So there you go. These are the three. It doesn't show up really, so I have to, uh, let's say. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Keep cool, keep cool. So let's store this one real quick and just mess this com up completely. Let's see, where is Reaper? There is Reaper. Let's choose a couple of random traits real quick. And as you can see right now, I got a full legendary Reaper that can do power damage. And if I'm bored of Reaper, I can just st uh, change the stats again and go Condi. So, uh, okay, we're done with Reaper right now. It's kind of fun for the time being. I want to be... Um... Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, I want to be a core necro again. It's my PvP build. Did I screw up? I definitely did screw up. Kind of sucks. Doesn't really matter. It's just uh, a copy paste build anyway. So I want to be um, Condi again. Did the old switcheroo. I use the Viper stats right here. Okay, never more. Never more. Never more. There you go. So I got it twice right now. This is an uh, exotic one. And we equip that and we're, we're good to go as a Condi again. Except we have to uh, 
choose stats here. So that might be a little bit of a thing you have to get used to, right? So if you are using uh, legendary stuff, always make sure to, to use this check mark because else you'll have like one um, piece of legendary army armor that is not. Um, on, you only have one legendary piece of armor that is uh, the stats you want, and the rest is not. So always make sure to check uh, the check mark, and before you start a fight, make sure to check your stats as well. Okay, let's have a look at the, the chat. Such a shame. The sham that shaman. Oh yeah, that shaman also uh, data mined some stuff. So make sure to uh, have a look at that. Uh, where is the story information about each legendary? Hey, that's a good one. That's a good question because. Um, that used to be on the um, uh, when you unlocked a legendary. Hey Paolo, what's up? I'm working on two more rings, but now one will be a pain. Uh, now I can only use the slumbering conflux. Um, you don't have to use it, right? So you can always show. Um, I I don't have legendary rings. I never quite got into it. Um, but actually, it's a really smart investment to do so because uh, rings are for all characters. So whether you whether you are a, a guardian, elementalist, necromancer, ranger, doesn't really matter. All of them use rings, and you can also always store them in the legendary uh, armory, and you can use them on all characters. Whereas this legendary armor is only applicable for light, um, light armored professions. So it's only for elementalist, necromancer, mesmer. If I want legendary armor on my warrior, then I have to craft the heavy set for that as well. So, if we go to my warrior real quick. Uh, or Revenant for that matter, but let's just go for uh, warrior right now. Which is also in Eye of the North. All my characters are in Eye of the North. <laughs> yeah, so there we go. There we go. I know you're out there fighting dragons and saving the world. I know you're out there. So, <laughs> I also got a new graphics card, by the way. I got the 3070. Um, it was pricey. It was a hassle. It took me seven months to get one. Um, but I can also stream on better quality right now. I hope. Um, I believe I can, because I always use the, the, the graphics card for this. Um, I haven't changed my settings in OBS. So uh, I might have to change a couple of settings for uh, the next stream because I'm also planning on streaming next week, which is a new world, the Amazon MMO. It, it goes in open beta next week. Want to check that out. I'm uh, going to play that for a little bit. Wanna, I want to stream it on the first day. And the week after that, there's going to be the End of Dragons release, which I also really want to stream. Um, so we just do like live reaction shit. Um, yeah, it would be kind of fun. In my opinion so okay uh, we got a warrior right here let's see what can we use as you can see we can only use at infinitum which is the backpack and sunrise um, and not any other legendaries as you can see right here so if you have like one and that, that that's a little thing that kind of uh, it doesn't really bother me but it's something to think about right so you spend all that effort into getting those legendary uh, ascended back pieces. They completely become obsolete once you can get uh, at infinitum, for example. So um, I'm using uh, the banners of King Palawa Joko. Uh, this is a Path of Fire uh, collection um, item. So you have to complete the collection for this. And um, But I don't really need this anymore. And that's just because I got Ad Infinitum. I do... Um, no, I also don't need it here. So I can just change that one uh, here as well. This is my power set, which is not really complete. Because as you can see, I'm still using um, uh, condition trinkets. But with the... Um, what's it called? Ad Infinitum, I can just say, hey, I want this to be Berserker. Berserkers. There we go. I'll, let's just check this to make sure that uh, any other th stuff is um, Berserkers. There you go. To all valid items, which is only this one, of course. And as you can see, I really don't need the banners anymore. I can give that to an alt. Uh, but even on that alt, I can use my legendary uh, backpack. So this one is also using Vipers, I believe. It's... Um, 
There you go. So this kind of makes like ascended armor, um, for example, backpacks, rings, all that stuff. It could be become obsolete, but it also is a big of a. It's kind of a big plus because I also want to raid on many of my characters, and I also want to have good gear on them. So what I do usually is. Um, I exchange like currency, like magnetite shards, that stuff you get from raids, for uh, rings or accessories. And um, I have to keep doing that over and over again. So I want to do it on my Mesmer. Okay, I gotta turn in magnetite shards um, for a ring. Okay, now I want to do it on my Renegade. Same stuff, or my Revenant, sorry. Um, same stuff, gotta turn those in. So all my hard earned magnetite shards go to. Um, items that I already have. Yes, you can switch them be between characters, but it's always a bit of a hassle. If I want to play Revenant, I don't want to um, spend like five minutes uh, transferring items from one character to another, and when you switch back to that character, you notice that you kind of forgot to change your armor back and you are in a raid without the right equipment. So, legendary armor takes a lot away, um, the legendary armory takes away a lot of hassle. But it also takes away like the uniqueness of getting um, uh, ascended backpacks, for example. But honestly, like I have been playing this game since release. I've played Guild Wars One for um, what's it called? I believe I played that game since tw 2005, 2006, somewhere uh, when I just started high school, I believe. So um, not going through hassle or stuff that you've already done a hundred times is for me is really incredible and this stuff is also used for people that have like everything in the game right so not well not everything in the game i don't have everything but people that have spent hundreds of hours in the game and don't want to redo stuff so i think this overall this is an awesome quality of life feature and this is going to bring me a lot of joy when uh, i go to end of dragons so i want to check out one more character before we go that's uh, my mesmer uh, let me see, where is she? I haven't used her in a while. Also, let's have a look at the chat, because I've been talking a lot. Mm, hey, Corletto, hey, what's up? What's up, what's up, what's up? There we go. You can also check when the um, marionette is up, after this one. But... Um, I, I wanted to keep this stream rather short because we're also going to stream next week. Uh, I want to get a video out for that time. And um, yeah, I'm uh, extremely busy. Um, real life stuff. Like, um, just going to throw it out there once more. Like, uh, last month, uh, a friend of mine uh, passed away in a motorcycle accident. And that's still uh, kind of nagging on me. Um, and also, last Friday, my uh, my old family dog passed away, so that's also a bit of a bummer. And uh, I've known that dog longer than um, longer than I've not than I've not because we got that one. Um, I, I completely grew up with that dog, so that's kind of a, a bummer. It hurts uh, a lot. So I'm not really uh, super into streaming super long, but I I feel so a lot of joy just streaming, talking. Uh, so that's good. So let's uh, check out the last character over here. As you can see, this one uh, I don't really have. Uh, I chose this character because I used to um, the precursor armor for legendary armor, which is envoy armor. I used that one on my mesmer. So um, I had to st I had to strip one set completely to create legendary armor, uh, and I had to give that uh, back at one point, but I didn't because um, I gave it to my alley. And since I only really run um, um, this build on my necro, on, on my um, on my mesmer, and not really the Condi build, um, it didn't really matter. So let's equip it. Let's equip this one. Equip, equip, equip. Let's put that all on. Let's see what else do we have. We had add infinitum. Let's put that one in. This one's also um, what's it called? I could outrun a centaur. Viper stats. So there's no, uh, if you don't want to throw your uh, legendary um, backpack in, for example, you don't have to, right? Because the stats are the same. So if I um, equip this one, and let's say we give it Vipers, because we're doing Condi here, Vipers, let's go. There you go. So as you can see, 
uh, 52 power, 27 precision, 52 condition damage, and 27 expertise. As you can see on the fervid sensor, the um, transmuted backpack, also 52 power, 27 precision, uh, you, all the good stuff. So there's no real difference. You don't really have to use this one. Um, personally, um, I am using it just because um, um, when, let's say, when another build comes around in End of Dragons, uh, and that's that's that has to be Celestial, for example, I'll just do tippity tap, and there you go. This is all Celestial. Uh, this is not. This is all Ascended stuff, and this is also not. So it only applies to Legendary one ones, and this one. There you go. So this one's also. Uh, no, what's it called? That's also Celestial. So let's set this back to Vipers. And let's set this also back to Vipers. And there you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of rough. Um, I'm doing good. I'm just... Uh, like, a couple weeks ago, start working again. Now this stuff happens, but... Uh, like... Exercising, playing games a little bit, and also just working gets uh, gets you through it. And uh, it's gonna take some time, and I'm probably not gonna have the pace that I used to have on my videos, but that's all right. I mean, I don't have to make it's a living it's off it's YouTube. I'm just doing this stuff for fun. <laughs> so uh, all right. Oh, there's a tour here, so let's move away. So. Uh, once you're done, um, there are many people that don't really like the legendary armor set, and um, which is understandable. Um, I I do like some parts of it. I like the the headgear, for example, especially when you go into combat. So there you go. I like this, I like this stuff right over here. Um, but I'm not really fond of the uh, the leggings and the feet. So we can start transmuting them. Let's start with that. Um, so this one was, I, I believe I wanted to, this is a Condi Mirage build that I was running for, let's see, I think it's this one because it's named Condi Mirage. So there you go. So I wanted to give it also a little bit of a desert vibe. And I think, let's go with this one for now. It's probably not my definite set though. So, let's go for this one. And I'm really fond of these uh, shoes. They fit on every female character, really. And they, do, they don't really look that bulky. You can also go for sandals. Um, for into that. Or even more um, bulky shoes, like... What's it called? They're not these. Puff of Kodas, rather bulky. So, I will always go for the Exalted Boots right over here. Uh, think of changing the gloves. Let's go for some gem store stuff right here. Looks really cool. Chaos gloves, maybe. Yeah, let's go chaos gloves. And then we have the back piece, which we can also always hide, but just in case, always choose a cape. Let's choose my uh, my new one. That's one of the only cool free to play capes out there. So uh, stay tuned for the channel because I'm gonna have a video about that. Change the dye channels a little bit. Yeah, this is not my definite stuff, because if I'm going to make this definite, um, you're going to be watching me change colors for like an hour or so. Ooh. Let's not do this. Let's keep it at that right now. So, there you have a cape. So, if we go into legendary mode here, which is combat, like only the top is um, legendary right now. Like, oh no, sorry. <laughs> Gotta be right here. So every, everything is legendary, but the bottom three pieces are transmuted. Which means um, they still have the effect of the legendary armor, but the skin is just answer, uh, is different. So it's basically transmogged uh, if you compare it to any other MMO. So that's cool. Uh, and there, ha there you have it. I think we basically covered the entire um, legendary armory. We could have a really quick lo look if the marionette is up. But I'm gonna uh, roll on my other character real quick. Let's go for the for the guardian. Let's see if that's up. And if not, um, don't worry. More streams, more videos coming up. 
Um, but I'm, I'm honestly really happy with the legendary armory. If you don't have legendary ar uh, items just yet, I understand this is kind of a slap in the face to look at. That you can that switch stats the, uh, um, so easily. Um, but for um, like veteran players, this is like amazing because you have so many alts, you have done stuff so many times, and this just takes away the repetitiveness of the um, what's it called uh, the, the the story. So let's see. Like you're ready to get back Ridlock's to here. Um, make regret uh, no, 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 no. This is not the story I want. I need to talk so if you want to go to the Twisted Marionette. It should pop in Eye of the Yo, North here somewhere. So... Still a bit sore. Uh, let me see... Twisted Marionette. Choose an entry Is into our Visions of the Past. Twisted Marionette. So let's choose this one. Let's go to the public one. Alright, so... Um, you can always enter the public one, it seems. But the, you can also... Um, uh, enter here with the squad. If I uh, understood that correctly. Is this a good time to return to the game? Um, yeah, definitely. Um, it's always, yeah, it's kind of a weird thing to say. Oh, the Twisted Marionette will descend in three minutes. So let's see. We gotta be quick, I guess. Oh, no, it will descend. So it will, it will start in three minutes. So we have three minutes of talking. We can do that. So, like, if you ask any YouTuber or any content creator or anyone on Reddit, they will say, yes, it's definitely a good time uh, to return to the game. And... Most of the time, most people always say that because most people left when Guild Wars 2 was, um, I don't want to say in a bad state, but it was a little bit of a, in a slumber phase. So it had like these regular updates, but none of them, um, some of them were really good. Some of them were a little, little, little less good. And that's fine. That always happens with an MMO. But there was this period where there was like a little bit of content drought between expansions and there was always um, the, the the content was that was delivered was not really up to what it uh, what it was um but that kind of solved itself like we recently finished the uh, ice brute saga which um had an okay ending uh, people um say it's worse than it uh, actually is uh, and i do think that the achievements tied to the ice brute saga are also really cool um so uh I, I still have to get this on legendary actually but uh, let's not do that now because then I have to transmute everything again, and I really like this set. <laughs> so, um, right now, we're, like, in a content drought again. Uh, but it is actually one of the better times to return. And the reason why that is, is because they uh, announced End of Dragons, of course. You probably know that. And, um, which is going to release in January, February, or March. Like, Q1 of 2022. So, you have, like, six months. Uh, let's see, it's uh, July right now, so you have about six to seven months to completely catch up with the game, get the things you want, and then you can hop straight into End of Dragons. And um, if you if you if you're gonna return, I would strongly advise you to get End of Dragons as well. Not maybe not right away, but at one point uh, you should because all of the player base is gonna move to End of Dragons for a bit, and then it slowly gets back to like older maps, re-exploring and all that stuff. And uh, also a good reason to come back. That, that's reason one, End of Dragons. And reason two is uh, to come back is to... Um, because all of the Living World episodes from the uh, last couple of years... So from season two to season... Uh, let's, I think we're at season four right now. Crack in the Ice, that's where we're at right now. They release, re-release on a weekly basis. So previously, if you wanted to play, let's say, Flashpoint... You had, to, you had to buy that one from the gem store for real money. Or you had to exchange your gold into gems and then uh, change, that, um, change that back to, uh, uh, to gems and then buy Flashpoint. But now they re-release -re these episodes each week uh, or, or almost every week. It really depends. Sometimes there's a festival in between and they skip like a week. And... Uh, you can all replay this, and this is um, for free. So you don't have to pay anything, and you can play older stories for free. And I would definitely do that, because all of these uh, legendary, uh, Living World episodes have unique skins, unique achievements, uh, things to explore, uh, learn more about the lore. Um, so, honestly, um, I would just 
return for these sto uh, these uh, instances just for the skins and achievements but that's just me and uh, icebreed saga is coming up in i don't know i think september somewhere and honestly um i do think that season two was pretty let me see was season two was that really good i think season three was really cool Season 3 was cool. Season 4 was the best. Living World Season 4. That was the best one with Dragonfall and all that stuff. And that's gonna probably release at the end of the summer. And then uh, you have the Icebridge Saga. Which had uh, really good parts. And uh, some I personally did not like as much. But uh, the rewards at the end were really good. So I managed to talk through the entire thing. So we can now start the Twisted Marionette. So this is also for me. This is like 8 years ago. Uh, last time I did this one. And I really remember I was playing this on uh, like an old monitor as well. And uh, it's actually really funny because I actually wanted to start creating content back then. But the internet was so much worse than it is right now. And um, uploading a, a YouTube video, I, I tried that one, uh, tried that once, uh, took like uh, literally 16 hours. And not like 16 hours and then it goes back to like 5 and then it goes back to 2 and 1 and 30 minutes. No, no, it, it literally took like 16 hours. So, um, I tried creating a video once, it was really bad. Um, I don't re I don't have it anymore, because I uh, changed computers. This one's way better. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> actually, right, kind of good that we uh, didn't have the internet back then. Uh, I mean, the internet wasn't as good as it is right now. So, there we go. Uh, let's see, let's uh, check out the chat for a little bit while we uh, auto-attack these guys. All right, we have uh, returning to game. It's a good time to come back. Exactly. I'm gonna turn the volume down a little bit because it might be a bit loud. Uh, effects. There you go. Uh, let's see what else we have. Are you playing Guardian? Yes, I am. I'm actually playing uh, Dragon Hunter right now, which is uh, an elite specialization for the Guardian. Um, this is not really an open world PvE build, this is more like a raid build that I'm running, so it's super squishy, like I only need like two hits and then I'll be dead. But uh, <laughs> if you're using legendary armor, you can uh, change that into better stats. Um, so yeah, I'm using that, I covered this build in a video, uh, so uh, it's, a, it's a Guardian video, you can find that one on uh, my channel. It's the, I think it was uploaded in November last year, so it's also still pretty recent. And if the build has been updated, I always have uh, updated uh, builds in the video description. So that's cool. I'm running that. Let's see what else do we have. Hey, are all legendary armory legendaries usable for all characters, unlimited amount, or is there still a cap of like three characters? No, there is a no cap of like three characters. Um, but, but, that's a big but. Um, as you can see, I only have four legendary items right here on my uh, Guardian, uh, while I actually have more. And that's because uh, my uh, legendary armor that I've crafted is only applicable to uh, elementalists, mesmers, and necromancers. That's because they are the only light professions that we have right now. And this one, this guardian, is a heavy profession. So I can't really... Uh, I said I could change this actually, but that's completely wrong. Um, wait, oh, oh, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. So, hey, you got an achievement. For AFK -ing. So uh, I can't change this one into legendary armor unless I start crafting legendary heavy armor But then I have to recraft legendary armor and honestly to me that's not worth it. I would just go for um, One set of legendary armor for the Armor class you play the most so I play a lot of elementalist. I play mesmer uh, uh, sometimes well on and off basically and I play quite some necromancer uh, in raids um, and I also play necromancer in PvP um, some people might not like this and um, that's alright but I win games and that's um, my thing <laughs> winning stuff so um, I can only use like these weapons like nevermore for example I can use that on any character I want as long as that character can use the staff so guardian can use the staff Revenant can use a staff, but Warrior, for example, can't use a staff. So I can't use Nevermore on that character. So there you go. 
Thank you all. Um, I'll most likely repatch it again. Yeah, cool. Hope to hope to see you in game one time. I think I will finally return to this game after three months. I guess. Ooh, that's sweet. Been playing Guild Wars. Uh, been playing TES online, but nothing is better than Guild Wars 2, to be honest. Hey. Um, whoa. Hey. There we go. You are right about that. Uh, nothing really be beats uh, Guild Wars 2. Um, I also played a bit of the Elder Scrolls a couple years ago. Um, honestly, still a really good game really good game but um i like to see skill cooldowns i like to ski skill details i'd like to see um uh, organized raids all that stuff um um even more hardcore than guild wars actually um uh, because i can basically cheese every raid because i've done it so many times well uh, <laughs> to be honest uh, some raids i can't quite remember as well as other ones uh, for example wing 7 i haven't done that one in months so if i do that right now then uh, i most likely fail but um uh, the elder scrolls online does have like raids and stuff but it's more like um it feels uh it plays like skyrim and that makes sense because it's also the elder scrolls um o o o franchise but um, it feels too loose, if you know what I mean. So, it um, feels like... Um, yeah, how to say it? It feels um, less structured. It feels less... Um, I think you're more open to go into the free world and uh, bring your own build, all that stuff. Um, so, I kind of like that at first, but uh, now I'm kind of in, uh, in a spot that I want to get higher up, but never really quite got into it. And uh, the Elder Scrolls Online, but I still, I still think it's a pretty good game, and I really like to play it uh, from once in a while. But um, for me, uh, and most like Guild Wars 2 or World of Warcraft, they will also always have like uh, a bigger spot to me, just because they play differently. I, I like the, the 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 gameplay of this game. Thanks for the info, no problem. Uh, the Elder Scrolls Online is the Elder Scrolls, and yes, it is a good F1 game, but it's a little too complicated. Yeah, I, I do think it's actually uh, more complicated than I think, so to say. So I think of it like it's rather easy, you can play uh, like all you want, and even in dungeons there is like uh, some hard mode, which is really difficult, but um, it does catch my attention for a while, but um, most of the times I just keep bouncing back to Guild Wars anyway. And I'm honestly at the point in life that uh, I really enjoy games, but I'm um, also at the point that I can't really play too many different games. So I really enjoy playing Guild Wars 2, and uh, I enjoy to play Apex with a friend of mine. Uh, I suck, by the way. Um, it doesn't really matter, uh, but I enjoy it. So, But I can't really play like another game next to this. I just simply don't have the time for that. So I re really made an agreement with myself. I just, I'm just going to play Guild Wars 2 all the time. And if I'm bored of Guild Wars 2, I'll just do a little bit of Apex, right? Or maybe like one or two games of Apex. Or another game, for example. I'm also playing uh, Odyssey, by the way. I mean, uh, Assassin's Creed Origin, Origins, by the way. So, or I'm going to play Origins for an hour or so. But um, I don't want to get really invested into another new MMO. Um, whilst also playing the other one. So, New World is coming uh, coming next week. The, the, the beta. I can't just play Guild Wars 2 and New World if I want to get really into one of those. So I'm gonna dig into a real uh, New World for a bit, for like a week or so, for a couple of days, and then I'm like, yeah, all right, seen it. Just gonna play Guild Wars 2 now. Uh, get back to uh, creating a video for it, and then bounce back to a New World a bit. Check, see you where uh, where that's at. I have no rush. So it's just like um, what I'm trying to see say in this overly complicated story. I have to manage my time, and I'd rather spend my time on Guild Wars 2 because I'm really familiar with it. I like where the game's going right now with uh, End of Dragons. Um, um, although I'm not really happy with the content draught uh, that we have right now. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna play Guild Wars 2. <laughs> I usually play WoW as a main game, but the last couple of expansions have been kind of boring. Yeah, I also have been playing uh, World of Warcraft for a long time. Uh, also with a real a real life friend of mine, he's been playing uh, World of Warcraft for a number of years now. He keeps bouncing uh, in and out of uh, World of Warcraft uh, as well. Um, and he... Um, we, we, we played Shadowlands as well, right? 
and we we had this philosophy like world of warcraft always has one good expansion then it has a bad one and the one after that is good again so he said like wrath the lich king really good and burning crusade was also really good and then he said there was um uh mist of pandaria and cataclysm which he didn't really like and then uh came uh, i think it was legion yeah then came legion which was really good and then came battle for azeroth with which wasn't too awesome there we have the um what's it called the marionette and so we kind of had in our minds that uh, shadowlands is going to be the next next be best thing but he still plays it because he has a guild but he completely disagrees with their business model because it's just um regrinding the same stuff over and over again just the thing that the le <laughs> if if we have to draw a, like a line between guild wars 2 and wow um Legendary armor is taking away a lot of the hassle by recrafting legendaries. And what WoW does, at least if I've understood correctly, is um, after this last patch, you have to recraft your your armor again. So you have to start that whole hassle that you've done like three months before, and you had to do that for like three or four weeks. You have to do that all again, if I understood correctly. And I was like, yeah, I'm not... I usually hop back into WoW uh, for 30 days, but they cancelled the 30 days uh, prepaid subscription, so to say. So you can't really buy a 30 day, um, what's it called? Uh, a 30 day uh, WoW subscription anymore. You have to go for 60. So I'm like, yeah, it's not really about the money, but it is about like, I only enjoy the game for 25 days or so and then it's good. So uh, let's see what you have said. Draenor is after Miss. Oh yeah, Draenor, of course. Which was pretty bad. Legion was very good. Yeah, that's great. And after that, BFA and Shadowlands have just been his best reach against of Legion, sadly. Yeah, Legion was extremely good because um, as many people dislike the... Um, what's it called? The Demon Hunter class. But um, since it, it could kind of cheese through anything, everything. Um, but lore-wise, it's really good. There we go. Got two... Ex there we go. We have... One chain severed. I can explain this fight a little bit, actually. So, before we went into this uh, stage, we had to protect, like, a couple barriers from uh, reaching the marionette. And now we're at the marionette, and now we're trying to break uh, the, chain that, uh, the chains that she is attached to. So, we have two out of five chain, uh, chains severed right now. And now we have to uh, get the other... Uh, we have to get rid of the other two. Let's see, box of repair hammers. I can't quite remember what to do here. This is completely true, and you have to do it all again for an extra gem slot. Yeah, of, of course. Um, I believe, I'm not really sure what was the thing again, but um, I believe there was also something with Titan forging. Let me see, do I have to repair this one? Repaired siege walls and turrets. That's not something I have to do here, right? Makes no sense. Okay, hold on. No, I th I, we, we just have to defend it a little bit. It's just um, easy gameplay. Like it. No worries. Just uh, put on some music and uh, get through this a little bit. Um, yeah, so, so lore-wise it made sense. And also, I kind of got like um, irritated when people uh, started hating on pandas in um, Mists of Mandaria. Because, uh, not because they were hating on him, because it's okay on... Um, hating a decision that a company makes, of course, that's uh, free speech. And, um, but um, people, the argument that people use, like, why are they using pandas? They weren't in the lore. But, like, if we're gonna talk about lore, then those people have never really played Warcraft 3 because Chen Stormstout was in, uh, uh, what's it called? Warcraft 3, 3 as well. And he was actually, um, if you play Dota, he was also a hero in Dota, Chen, and it used the panda model as well. So pandas have been in the game for like 20 years. So it's okay on hating on pandas if you don't like them, of course, but don't use the use the lore argument. It's not really um, because they were in the lore. Not really sure if Lily was in Warcraft 3, but Chen was for sure, I believe. I think it was right before Arthas. Um, um, 
was getting to Frostmourne, the, his uh, sword, if I believe correctly. Uh, Warforging and Titanforging were additional RNG mechanics added to the armors and weapons to the game. Oh, hold on. Just, uh, let me see. Just auto attack this real quick. For example, you have to do a heroic raids and get a chest piece, which gets Titanforged and the eye level. Yeah, exactly. So that was uh, kind of my main problem with uh, uh, with WoW as well, because I honestly, I, I, I don't really mind... Um, not getting the best drop from a raid. I mean, that keeps it exciting, right? This, that keeps you looking forward to getting that end chest and getting that chance for that uh, specific um, uh, specific piece of equipment. But what I did hate is that you um, had to have, like, if I understood correctly, you had to have, like, the best in slot gear, which was based on chance. Like, in Guild Wars 2, not, I'm not trying to advertise Guild Wars 2 here, but in Guild Wars 2, I have... The, the best in slot gear is Ascended Armor, right? And you have Legendary Armor, which allows you to switch the stats of it, but it doesn't really change the effectiveness of your build. So Ascended Armor is the best stuff you can get, right? And um, in WoW, you had to get, like, best in slot, which um, was based on luck. And this one is based on putting time in the game or crafting. Um, but it's not based on luck. And that's what I uh, kind of disliked. Uh, there was all, one other thing I wanted to talk about. But, oh yeah, that was the positive side of thing. But I kind of missed... What I do miss in Guild Wars 2 is like that, that, that excitement after a raid that you might get that one skin that is really rare or, or something. That's, that's something I'd like to see more of. And um, we don't really know what uh, End of Dragons is going to bring. But... Um, I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to, that, to this. Also kind of funny about this stuff we're doing right now. This should be easier nowadays. Because back in the day, uh, we didn't have as many build opportunities. Because we only had the Guardian. We didn't have Firebrand. We didn't have Dragon Hunter. And right now you can just like buff people or... Um, what's it called? Buff them. Or um, use Condi uh, in, in a more effective way. Um, because of the Firebrand and the Dragon Hunter, for example. Or another Elite Specialization. So I do think that's a personal opinion that Elite Specializations do make the game a little easier. Um, especially with these older events. But that doesn't mean I can still uh, we can still fa fail it. We did it, but it's still over. Look at the bar. That's what someone says in chat. So we have to defend this. This actually kind of reminds me. I completely forgot this fight actually. How this worked. I still remember the 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 the, the circles, the arenas on top. I still remember that, but I can't remember this. And we have to stop these guys from reaching uh, this portal over here. And it kind of reminds me of the Octavine um, meta in uh, the Silver Wastes, which is also a free-to-play area. If you want to make gold, go to Silver Wastes. Just do that event and sell your stuff. <laughs> That, um, that works really well. So let's see. Um, wait, is building Chuka and Chumpa what? Uh, when you already have the Dreamer, now only useful for co cosmetic reasons? Um, yes. Wait, hold on. Dreamer is short bow. What is Chumpa and Chumpa what? Chumpa and Chumpa what? I gotta look that up. Chumpa what? How do you write that? Chumpa what? Let me see. Chuka, Chuka and Chumpa what? That's also a short bow. Yeah, so that one is only... Yeah, that's true. It's only for cosmetic uh, stuff right now. Oh, ouch. Wait, we failed it? Damn it. Did we fail it? I think we did. Yeah, we did. But we also... I think the other lanes didn't quite uh, defend as much as we did, or we kind of sucked at it. So... Um... So wait, we also uh, we have to look at have a look at this actually. So there are also some bonus achievements right here. These are quite familiar for you guys probably because um, um, these wait return to a waypoint. Let's go to I have the north real quick before. Uh, wait, what? Can't return to I have the north right now. Ah, then we'll use that this trick. Oh no, it doesn't work. I'm still dead. So, um, 
the bonus events that you just saw, um, normal as um, as other events. So this one is just because of the re-release -re of uh, A Crack in the Ice. So make sure to participate in those. Um, if you didn't finish them in time, there's no worry. You can always find them in your story journal. Uh, no, it's not story journal. It's general. Oh God, where is it again? Wait, I, I know where it is. Ah, it's under side stories. Oh, whoops, my bad. So if you didn't finish this one in time, so complete all the achievements for the um, lay weapon, uh, lay line weapon cache, uh, you can just go to side stories and uh, just redo them here. Um, I believe I haven't finished dry top as you can see still a, still need to get the treasures and I would actually advise you to do these because these I believe these used to be gem store weapons but now you can get one for free so if you really dig one of these weapons you can just get these ones for free and see which one I, I haven't like some of them I didn't com uh, didn't participate in at all just yet here you can get another one of those let's see I think these ones are different Bandit Fleet. Let me see. Preview. Oh, no. This is also the same one. Is it also the same one? Yeah, this is all the same. Same, 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 same. This one's different. Ley Line. So, this one is different. This one's different. So, you can... If you complete one, two, three, four. These four, you can get four of those um, packed weapons. And now, we move on to the Ley Line weapons, which are also pretty cool. Uh, I personally never really go for greatsword skins anymore because I have too many of those. But, uh, for example, this focus looks pretty cool if you're into that. Um, or shields. some Something you might like. Hammers. Great skins always... I mean, greatsword is also always good. Warhorn. I like this one, actually. Dagger. Let's see, what does this one give? I was, I was doing this the other day, so... There's also ley line. Let's see what this one gives. It's also ley line. So expect to have like uh, four ley line weapons as well that you can get. Uh, also gives you. Uh, you can also choose mystic coins if you're into that. If you're crafting like a legendary. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. So there's that. And then you have like these achievements as well. I'm not really sure. These are not older, are they? I'm not really sure. They might actually be older. I think they are older. These are older achievements because I've already completed this one. So let's have a look real quick. Yeah, no, no, no. Dude. These are older, definitely. Because these gave you 50 achievement points. So these uh, these one I've completed like in 2013. And these ones are new. Revenge of the Marionette. So this is like um, the return of her. You can also always get a, you get, get a free Ascended Ring, which is really cool. And this one's also... Ooh... Ooh. So you want to complete these. During the Wrath of Marion. Yeah, so this is the bonus event. Actually, you want to do those. And these are daily rewards, extra ones, if you beat her. But what's really cool is these give you another set of items. There is more. These skins are really cool. And then you can get also uh, these um, watch work scraps, which you can use for... Uh, Living World Season 1 stuff. We're going back to Eye of the North, it seems. So, uh, actually kind of nice to get the marionette as well in this stream. Pretty cool. Hey, have you used Direct X12 add-on for Guild Wars 2 Kyo? If Kyo, if so, what are you? Th what are your thoughts and performance tips for the game general? So, um, I haven't really used... I, I don't really use add-ons with my Guild Wars 2. Uh, a lot of people ask me if I use add-ons. Uh, but I don't. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't. Uh, so I haven't used the Direct X12 as well because um, it's always kind of risky to get like a use um, add ons. Uh, ArenaNet does not really approve of the use of add ons. There are some that are like somewhat allowed. So uh, Arc DPS, for example, and I think your DX12 thing is also somewhat allowed, but uh, don't pinpoint me on that because I might actually be wrong. Uh, so, no, I haven't used that one. But what I'm really looking forward to is the Direct X11 upgrade that the game's gonna get after, um, um, what's it called? Um, 
in the next couple months where they're working on so that's really cool i struggle with smooth gameplay in spite of having a powerful pc this only happens in guild wars 2 sadly so this is mm, a really common issue uh you probably have a really good pc um i don't doubt that but guild wars 2 is more of a processor game uh instead of a video card game and from what i believe they're going to try and make shift that a little bit more with direct x12 but i'm really not as technical <laughs> in terms of game um in, in terms of um, how the game functions but i did make a video about that once so i'll send you i will link you that into um in the comments real quick so let me look it up what was it again i think it was this one um so you don't have to look that up which is really cool not looking up stuff for the win it's a it's an older video it's back from 2019 as you can see in the resolution of the um, of the video but everything i say is still i haven't changed my graphics since so you can try out these settings that i mentioned in the video and also um wooden potatoes did a video about it so someone asked for a guardian build so let me link that right away so this one's for the guardian and let me see where is my boy wooden potatoes he also made a video about it like two or three days ago uh wooden potatoes i'm just gonna look this guy up for you guys wooden potatoes um graphics i think i think it was that one uh no it's not this one but i uh, i'll find it for you guys hold on wooden potatoes and the graphics ah there you go this video is quite long so it, i think it's like it, it, there you go it's 47 minutes long so Grab a cup of tea if you uh, are watching that. Um, there we go. So, I actually want to conclude this stream. We kind of covered the legendary armory. Timestamps will be in the video description. Uh, one important note. Um, I'm going to try and work on a couple more videos. Also going to take uh, things a little bit more slow on the real life side of things. Um, everything is alright. Don't worry about that. Just uh, need some time to do um, other things. Uh, still super dedicated to Get Wars 2, but with like uh, the passing of uh, my good friend and uh, the old dog, it's uh, kind of uh, hard. So, um, there is that. One more announcement. Uh, I got a couple good giveaways coming up. Uh, one is uh, for gems. Uh, it's only in my Discord. Uh, so make sure to go there, because uh, people in my Discord court are always super dedicated to... Uh, my channel and mm, the game in game in general uh, whereas on Twitter you reach more uh, people that are more casual which is fine of course um, but I also want to give the people that are on my discord some a little extra right so um, you can find the link in the discord for my discord in this description of the video as well or any other video description that I have so make sure to go there and I also got another giveaway coming up which is a super exclusive uh with uh some things um exclusive you can't really get them well you can get them in the gem store from time to time but uh some more stuff also on discord and also um i got a lot of codes for that so um it's probably going to be across all channels so uh if you want to have uh, like a chance uh you maximize your chances make sure to keep an eye out on this channel especially the posts uh, part of this channel keep an eye out on twitter and keep an eye out on my discord so i think that's all i want to say for now um i'm gonna have some fun with the legendary armor i'm really gonna check that out later um but for now i'm just gonna take uh take some rest so um there is that oh yeah no problem glad to link them all so um i think that's uh, that's all for now uh, if you have legendary armors uh, armor or weapons oh if you have legendary armor weapons, make sure to log in on every character that has like a legendary item to store it in your legendary, I mean in your uh, armory. And uh, try to mix and match a little bit with that. Then uh, if you're working on uh, legendary armor, make sure to finish it before End of Dragons. Um, because um, I, I think it could help you a lot if you, uh, you want to change builds on the go. I don't think it's really mandatory. Um, it makes things easier, but if you don't have it, no worries about that. You won't uh, miss any of the fun. If you're working towards it, I'd say 
try to finish it before that time. So with that, I really want to uh, conclude this stream. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Uh, I did. And um, no worries. We'll see you guys. I'll see you guys uh, probably next week for a new world stream, a short one. Well, a, a bit of a longer one, of course. And uh, on the 27th, uh, take put that in your agendas. The 27th, that's uh, End of Dragons gameplay, probably. And uh, more re End of Dragon releases, uh, reveals um, from uh, ArenaNet. So uh, it's an exclusive live stream. So make sure to uh, uh, tune in for that on the official Guild Wars 2 channels. Or uh, I probably want to stream and react to it as well. So uh, I hope to see you guys there. And uh, if not, um, have a good one.